Thank you very much. Um, we are here to update the nation of uh, the situation from yesterday. Um, with me is the Honorable Minister of Mines, Honorable Kawusue, Honorable Minister of uh, Commerce, Honorable Fokamulenga, who is also a member of parliament for Chingola constituency, where sincerely uh, open pit mine is situated, uh, located. Um, the situation from yesterday, first of all, we want to appreciate our Republican president who came to give solidarity to all of us, as well as to the families of the victim, our, our brothers who are trapped uh, um, here in Chimbola. We are very grateful to His Excellency, the President, and the people of Chingola have also appreciated his coming to come and uh, give hope uh, to the families and the, all the Copper Belt residents. The situation is that uh, the Bible says um, there is power in the tongue. What someone says about the situation usually comes to pass. His Excellency President Akainde visited uh, the site and I think his first uh, pronouncement when he visited the site was to give hope to all of us and, and, and those who were working, who are working uh, from uh, the area where the accident happened. His words were that we serve God of miracles and he said we have every hope that we will find our brothers um, alive. And for sure, around 21.30, the team retrieved one Mr. Mwanshakakoma Mukoko who was found alive, just like the president uh, what he pronounced there. So the first one was retrieved, was retrieved at around 21.30 by the name of Mr. Mwansha Kakoma Ukoko, and he was found alive. So I want to update the nation that the first one actually was found alive. So it's important to know that we should speak positive even in a situation where we have um, storms. So this is the situation. He was rushed to the hospital, and this time around he's still in the hospital. We went there, all of us, the three ministers, and he is in a stable condition, according to the doctors. We talked to him, and he, I'm sure the Lord will make sure that he is healed completely. Secondly, around 22.45, on the same site where the, which, where the president went, they retrieved a body of one of our brothers, which is, uh, was deposited in the, the mortuary in Chingwala. They continued working, because they are working throughout the night, like we have always said. And around 07 hours this morning, they retrieved another body for our brother, which has also been deposited in the, uh, the hospital here in Chingola. So in summary, we are saying that uh, the official situation is that we have retrieved three people. One, the first one was alive. The second one was a, a body or a dead body. And the third one was a dead body. So that is the official situation here in Chimbola. The president is sending his appreciation to the people operating from the site. And he's, he's, he has continued encouraging all of us to be positive and continue praying for our brothers. 
we still have to continue to have hope that you'll find others who will be alive. So we can officially say that we have, say that we have two funerals. And uh, after the press briefing, all of us as ministers, we will try and reach the funeral house. The process, the process of identifying the two bodies is, is on. I think other members of the secretariats, the team which we had, we had put together, have taken up that, that road to try and um, get the families who identify these two bodies. And then officially we will we'll have a funeral. Now we can have a funeral for the two. I like what our colleagues uh, wanted us to do to have a funeral before we retrieved anyone. So this is the official situation. I would like to call upon the Minister of Commerce to add one or two words, who is also the area member of parliament for Chingola, and thereafter, the Minister of Mines will also add one or two words. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Honourable Minister. And uh, let me also extend my sincere gratitude to the residents of Chingola District, Chingola constituents in particular, for standing as one during this trying moment. It's not an easy responsibility as a servant, which you have given me. It is a more reason why we saw His Excellency coming to visit us, like has been said by the Provincial Minister, and also continued support from the Minister of Mines. But ultimately, the unity that has been displayed by the residents of Chingola has really humbled me to the, the most and encouraged me to say that we do the most to see how best we can support our people. I also want to extend my sincere gratitude to the community, not only in Chingola, but even from Quito and other places who have responded to the call even before making a request to support the people that are working, the bereaved, and also the victims. The provincial minister led from inception a team by establishing a secretariat where registration of these challenges, the challenged, and other modes of forms of help that could be provided for could be registered from. From there, Mr. Provincial Minister, I should also announce that there has been a very positive response from the private sector who have come on board to see how we can work together. I should mention before I even talk about the private sector, the medical personnel is on hand in receiving the people that we are getting from the ground. It was not an easy task and continues not to be easy but challenging, but I should give upload on the positive and quick response that we witnessed yesterday by Nchanga South Hospital of Konkola Copper Mines. I think it is a time where we all stood and see what we can do to support each other. So for this cause, I call on other health practitioners to come on board and see what you can render. This is a call where we say, what can I do for the country than what the country can do for me? So colleagues, I am very grateful as member of parliament. And also I want to announce publicly that at the Member of Parliament's office, ministers, we have received support from people in the business community. Number one, we received financial support yesterday from Africa Power Co. Limited. We have received today, it is in transit, have been engaged by MICMA CEO, Mr. Michelle Krupnik, who is leading a team even on their social platform which they are calling Call for Action, where they're engaging the private sector to come on board and support the call that we have. Minister, as your seven member of parliament and the public, we pledge to do this with the utmost transparency that this deserves. My office may receive this, but definitely it will be handed over to the DMMU unit, and the media is encouraged to see what will be received. And so far, when the chairperson for or CEO for MICMA started this campaign to support government, to support the public here in Chingola, what we are going to receive, I'm told it is in transit, 
is as follows and his call has been responded to positively by um, antelope milling and the uh, Verun beverage sorry vital beverages and what we are receiving from there we are going to be given 300 bags of milk milk which are in transit we will be given sorry chairperson will be given 1,000 cases of water and 400 cases of drinks. They are in transit, we'll be receiving them very shortly. And ETG group of companies, they are based in Lusaka, but they're doing other businesses. They also engaged me. They have pledged to contribute 500 bags of millimil. But so far they have delivered 250 bags at my constituents office, and that will be brought to the DMMU unit to see how we can support. They have pledged 500 bags of millimil, but so far they have only delivered 250 bags. And I'm told they'll also be sending through some cooking oil for our brothers who are working there and also for the funeral houses that the minister has mentioned. We have taken full responsibility as a government and also as a constituency to see that we support our brothers who have lost beloved ones. So much of these produces um, contributions we have definitely will go to the funeral houses as much as they will also go to the working areas of our brothers. So minister, in my custody I can safely mention that we have got 250 bags which have received, have, have been delivered and we will be receiving today 300 bags more from Antelope and we will be given an extra 1,000 um, cases of water and 400 cases of drinks that will come. And we are very optimistic that if the private sector can even set up their own platform out of their ingenious ways and call to action to support us, we are very optimistic that more will come on board and the burden will be lightened. This is how we should live, where we put some certain inclinations aside and respond to the call as one community and one people. In conclusion, as Member of Parliament, I just want to ask the clergy, from all churches, religious organizations, all believers, the UCZ, the Catholics, the SDA, the Pentecostals, everyone, let us commit this country, let us commit this district, let us commit this constituency to God. This is a time when we need to pray and we strongly believe that the power of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, will intervene and will continue to find our brothers alive and active so that we can continue to live with them. So ultimately I thought I could make this to known to the public and we'll continue to make it public announcements to those that make donations to us. So ladies and gentlemen, I thought I could make this announcement and uh, submit to the leadership of our provincial minister and mean minds that are here in our midst. Thank you very much. Thank you. This time I want to call upon the uh, Minister of Mines, Honorable uh, Kawusu, to also say some few words. Honorable Minister. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Minister. Um, I would like to, of course, recognize the Minister of Commerce, the PS Mines, is here also, and a uh, few members of the press. The first thing I want to say is to also thank the President for having come. Yesterday, he boosted our morale. Apart from the physical morale, he also boosted our faith. Because for him, he was very categorical and very instructive that uh, there is no funeral as it stands. We believe, in fact, he went on a podium as the president of a nation. And that is massive. Spiritually, that is big when the highest office in the land professes the name of God and says, I believe in a God of miracles. And believe it or not, there will be a person who will come out alive here. And it took God only a few hours to respond to his faith. And we had a person who came out alive. In fact, the very first person to come out was alive. Yes. Meaning that God responded to that faith from the highest office in the land. So we are so grateful to the president for boosting our morale. May I also thank um, our technocrats. 
I believe that Zambia has enough capacity in terms of technocrats and, and ability to be able to handle a situation that is as complex and as complicated as that. So we are grateful to uh, the rescue teams from the mines, the CEO KCM from Mopani. We are grateful also to our defense forces, ZNS and uh, you know Zambia Army, you know, our Red Barrett and everyone that has been involved to be able to now start showing that really we are on the right path in terms of retrieving or recovering our brothers who are trapped there. I also want to make mention of the people that normally I protect who are called illegal miners. To me, I always protect them. That these are our Zambians who are trying to earn a living, but of course, uh, you know, trying to do it and you know in a way that is that is okay. So they have also been very handy in helping us retrieve our brothers or get the bodies that we got out. It's unfortunate for those that have lost their lives. We pass our condolences to the families of those that have lost their lives. So we are very, very grateful for the team spirit that has been, you know, displayed in terms of, you know, recovering our brothers. And this goes to show to those who are saying immediately declare a day of national or whatever national mourning they wanted, this now shows the difference between a leader who knows what he's doing and those who leaders who are wannabe leaders. Because then it was just shouting on the rooftop, talking whichever way they wanted to talk without really understanding what is going on. And as such, now we have seen a true leader who came and said, hold on, let's trust God as we work and government is ready to support everything, but at some point we leave everything else to God, and God has responded by showing us that yes, really, there could be people who are alive in this peace. So thank you very much, and to all Zambians that are supporting us, that are, you know, supporting us materially, financially, all the support that like has, had, has been announced by the Commerce Minister, um, really the support that you are bringing to us is coming in handy because this is a huge responsibility and we want to say that even as government also the resources are flowing in there is no dryness even from the government side the support has been fantastic so really we are working as a team and any help that comes is welcome but we are focused to make sure that we get our people out of there and you members of the media, members of the press, please, I keep emphasizing, let's make sure we get the right information than getting falsehoods and throwing them all over social media. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to emphasize in conclusion that um, we have a secretariat here at the PC's office, just like the Minister of Commerce has said, any contribution towards this tragedy should go through this secretariat. It's a team of uh, competent men and women. So whoever wants to uh, donate anything, if you don't know where to find the secretariat, it's at the district commissioner's office here in Chingora. I also want to mention that uh, officially, we still stand at 38 uh, families who came forward with the names and NRCs claiming that they are the families for our colleagues who are still trapped at uh, um, sincerely open its mind. So those who are coming to claim uh, that their families, let them come with uh, the facts, the NRCs, and then the, the team will scrutinize and find out uh, how true that is. And then from there we'll uh, stand together and move on. We will continue giving updates to the nation and please, like we said from the beginning, 
do not get the information which is coming from other sources apart from this official secretariat here. We will have our next briefing maybe around 18 hours uh, today. So to the media, we are very, very grateful. We have been all weather friends from the way go. We've been together, we will go together in the pit, to we'll come back, we go together to the hospital. So let's remain um, uh, together until the end of this issue. Uh, we are very grateful. Yes, uh, a question? Yes, I have a question. Um, there's something trending on social media pages, especially uh, PF inclined social media pages that uh, the government has blocked GBM from donating 50,000 kwacha to the family members. What is Which your... government? Where? I've said there's a secretariat here. Everyone who wants to donate, they are coming here. I ne I've never seen uh, GBM here. Unless maybe they he came in the night. It's nothing like that. We are very transparent. We have said whoever wants to donate, let them come to the secretariat here where there's a team of women and, uh, 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 and men who are doing a, a commendable job. They'll, they'll get any donation. But of course, we don't want a donation which is political. <clears throat> but the, a donation should be genuine. This is something which we have, we have tried even ourselves, to restrain ourselves from politicking. Because well, this is not a, a, a time to politic. This is a time to come together, to work together for the sake of our boys who are still trapped. So I don't think that is true that government has blocked uh, anyone from donating. You have seen the, mini the minister has just said, uh, mentioned some few uh, organizations who have do donated. And we have several others who, have, who started donating when this tragedy happened. Several other organizations, I think the team which is here at the Secretariat, they've got the names and everything. So whoever is trying to donate something, let them come to the DC's office, Chingola. No one would refuse them to make a donation. Because uh, that is a blessing for somebody. But political arrangement, it won't be entertained here in Chingola. Those who want to come and do politics, they will have themselves to blame. Thank you. Maybe just to add something on this, I know the Commerce Minister also weighing. Just by that statement, you can see the motive of somebody yeah. trying to gain public sympathy that they are trying to donate. But GBM, could you have a parent that a machine? You have a shirandi in Okolani. If you're Mulela and if you I think if you really are genuine and you want to help, the channels are there. Yeah. Okay, the channels are there. So just come and if you want to help, you don't announce. Let them trail bomb for you. No, we no sir. But if if I let them go, she must show by the chair. Hello, we want to come on a fair chair. If we chair, we must fight a leg pela. If we meet pela, we share. We touch alone. No, look up and we meet pela. We go ilanga. We have a pair of pair of colors. We go chill up on the punda. We have a pair. We no we no. Eh. So if we gam gam le fwa ya, we go pela. Na we go a fuidisha. Intumulushiya <laughs> In fact, never made a media, Mulesh Tarimongave, Pope, Mamu Kans, Kalipila, no more, Bafina, Papa, Wala, Lokanda, T. He said, Let a Nisha with the co. Which channel was he used? Where has he returned to? Formula in one of them, if you have a problem, but a man will We have been very transparent. Never paid in your own ship, never punda. 
Mas quando eu me pego, 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 na vonga na vaka te chwele pele, vese va pele vi. Lelo mwe vantu mone, ichu ungwa no mutu nturu mono chalo. Uwe ishi va paku hivara na pashiri paku hivara. Yes. Epa mwone ya va pene ya. Tatuke nyo mundu kanyo, nishwa misi na mkanyo. Nao. Uwe uonse kutialeta. Lelo mwe kala mwone vantu makura mwana chikwe no itakuwe temano. Apa kutabon fia ma politiksi, apa kutabon fia chintu ichu ungami. This is where leadership must be seen. So even you the media, you have a responsibility to inform and educate. Funde ni kona wewe ni fiungu wa lele tefi ya kulande ichilande lande tembele isuma yuko abantu wale paka sokuli mule mna wili na yana chapa pele fifty pini banka ni elokuwa ndo pole chora baada ya kila kuwa na wote mwa raba wale lolosha so baka la mbanga cha chini na mule nda ya mashiu iwe shi mwamba lete ni fiasho ndani ya mtulish fry elokuwa ringa nefu lesa misambasha kutumagata fedha imstini akalika five hundred pini tuafu abantu na tutelemkwa